All right, guys. What we're gonna be doing is uh today we're gonna be using Nvidia Goggin to uh to do a painting. Um, it's it's an artificial intelligence that takes uh takes your input, you hit generate, and it'll just uh, generate the file and everything. And overall, it does a really good job. Uh, and we're we're doing this since it's Bob Ross's birthday, and he's a you know been a major inspiration in my life. I uh, loved watching him when I was growing up. Um, <laughs> cool dude, great artist, um, just a fantastic showman, just amazing to watch um but without further ado we'll go ahead and get, dive on into it and and later on we'll print this on canvas in the in my, one of my next videos we're gonna print this actual thing on canvas um so to get started uh we'll go ahead and drop the link in the description below where you can find this tool um and also if you happen to have a, an rtx video video card which i know a lot of people with newer pcs will uh you can get the free standalone desktop version which is even better but to get going, you just uh, check this box down here, and you can go ahead and generate. And you'll notice what it'll do. It'll just generate uh, various backgrounds based on what you pick. And what you're doing is whatever you put in here is going to go over there. So you'll see, like, landscape. Um, you'll see, like, uh, we'll we'll start with just a heel, and we'll just, we'll just get us a little paintbrush, and we'll just draw us a happy little hill over here. Maybe another one over here and then when you generate that it'll put it over there it'll be nice and pretty and what we'll do is we'll just go through this and uh, we'll draw some happy little clouds up here and I mean it looks like crap over here but when you generate it I mean look at that look at that of course you can adjust your brush size get some more brushes in here get some little smaller little clouds some more detail on those clouds up there make it look nice i don't like the fog effect the fog's really really thick um you'll see if you, if you just put a little bit look how thick it makes it look i don't like it i like the detail i really like the detail so we're going to not do any any fog we're going to just leave it a crystal clear sky um okay we'll go ahead and uh plug in some mountains i like to use the uh the, this this brush We'll give it a happy little mountain over here. That might not be big enough. We might have to go a little bigger. I had to make it a little more jaggy. I have to just jag it up a little bit. Make it a little jaggy. There we go. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, that looks horrible. Uh, we'll go ahead and we're going to take the sky and we're just going to round that off. Good if that helps and see that cuts it down now it actually looks more like uh more like something i like that so we're gonna go ahead and give him a friend over here on this other island because everything's but everybody needs a friend you know everybody needs a friend. go ahead and do that we're gonna go ahead and give him some jaggies down here give it a little detail and bam we're going to give him some detail down here. And I think our mountains are pretty much done. We have a good, a good amount of detail. Overall, it looks really good. We're going to go ahead and erase part of this and smooth this up a little bit. That'll cut that. There we go. Now next, uh, let's put a little bit of snow on top of these mountains. Let's go ahead and put our paintbrush size down and we'll just spot them up here. You'll see what it'll do. A touch of snow on those guys. Ooh, I don't. I don't like that at all. I t I don't like that at all. We're gonna we're gonna actually paint back over. There. I liked it better without the snow. The snow was kind of terrible. That looks really good. I'm okay with that. So we got here a uh, river. I I usually just do a couple spots of river. Need a bigger brush. And just do that. Happy little river here. And what that'll do, that'll make it, um, I don't know that I'll like that. That looks okay. All right, now some rocks. So we'll go ahead and add some detailed rocks in here. I like to, again, do the, and then I like to even bring them further out. To give it a dimensional look. So we'll go ahead and get some clicking going on here. Just kind of randomly scatter around, you know. Go, let's go crazy with it. 
Bam. See, now we got some rocks. And what's really cool is to, uh, we can go ahead and throw some grass around some of those happy little rocks. Perk them up a little bit. Throw some spots of grass and a little extra detail. I don't like the way that looks, though. Um, for trees, trees are kind of funky. Sometimes they do good, sometimes they don't do that. Go ahead and draw a little forest. That, that one was kind of what, jank. Okay. Got us nice little forest. Let's just draw some more trees. There we go. Ooh, I don't like, I don't like that one. Last one was. There we go. There we go. So now we have a painting with a couple mountains, some trees, you know, just some stuff. We're going to go ahead and throw some flowers in here. Kind of roll with it. Just kind of randomly throw some on there. There we go. Now we got some vegetation. Uh, go ahead and do some uh, driftwood. Driftwood. Uh oh, it didn't like that. When it doesn't like that, what you can do is you can just paint over it. Like landscape. Uh, this is gonna be, I think, just water. No, that's not water. C. C is the default. I'm gonna paint over that because it didn't like it. Didn't like that. There we go. I don't know that I like those that close. I think it might do better with bigger ones up close. Yeah, plan on that. Yeah. Wouldn't want to take your boat through here. Looks a little rough. Nice. Okay. Okay. That's a nice little narrow waterway through there. Um, tell you what, we'll carve out a little bit better. No. Much. Let's carve out through there. Yo. I think that looks really good. Now, if you want it to look like the water's flowing, you can take it and just... I do that. A thin river. Look, it'll do something a little different with the water. Look like it's flowing. Uh, hills, cloud, fog. Um, we've done grass, haven't we? Bigger paint. Bam. The grass. We've done straw. Uh, landscape. I think we're good. Uh, we've done stone. Yeah, I see. I don't know what the difference in the water is. We're going to paint some and see what it looks like. That kind of changes the, the dynamic of it. We just put some water in there. It looks a little different. I like that. I feel like we need some more textured clouds up here. Hill clouds. extra detail in the clouds looks nice and neat I like it I'm a fan it's much like uh, Bob Ross said all you need to really paint is a few tools a little instruction and a vision in your mind and you can make it work just have to believe in yourself guys you can do this um, now some see some of these like the building tools I don't really like I like to just make landscapes Overall, it's really cool. But yeah, this is uh, this is Nvidia Gog, and it takes this and turns it into this. And I don't know how it does it, but basically, you make some Microsoft Paint type stuff, and man, it just works. All right, guys. Now that we're done, as crappy as this looks, see, look, you can go through in here, and uh, you can change the lighting. Like, see, that's kind of gorgeous. I mean, you can just change all the lighting. Um, so you can give it more of a like that's really pretty. Yeah, that's getting saved. And you just you just output them. You just output them. See, it'll I mean it'll do it all. See, that looks very tropical. I dig that. That's like Mississippi Riverish. So 
it looks kind of scary. And so you can just, I mean, you can just go through and you can find what you're looking for. Overall, I think I dig this one more than any of them. So we're going to go ahead and download that. And you can also download the, uh, the, yeah. You can also download the original file as well, the input file. And you can even go as far as to do your own input file and just upload it and do all that. But yeah, but that's how you use NVIDIA Goggin. Um, overall, it's a very powerful little tool. Um, it'll help you generate some beautiful landscapes that you can turn around and put on canvas, you know, just, just because it's kind of cool. Well, anyway, guys, this is a first of this kind of content. Um, just let me know what you think in the comments below if you want to do more stuff like this. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of a break from the usual submission stuff, but I mean... I know everybody likes being creative and this is a really cool tool. Um, and I highly suggest everyone, you know, give it a try at least. Uh, so, you know, like I said earlier, we'll have the link in this, uh, the description below, but overall, this is a really cool tool and I I've really enjoyed using it and, and I hope you will too. Um, so yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel. Uh, give the video a big old thumbs up and I get, I appreciate it guys. Y'all have a good one.